As harvest and fall tillage get rolling, one of the problems that you may be trying to fix on your farm is compaction created last spring by the planter. I'll address this issue in today's Iron Talk. When it's time to plant and soils are wet, you can only realistically wait so long. I'm not encouraging anyone to mud the crop in, but at some point, you probably will end up planting even if conditions aren't perfect. With the size of planters growing dramatically and with central fill units becoming much more prevalent, the four tires taking the brunt of that weight are driven into your soil, creating ruts that severely limit the yield of the rows on either side of them. We've used a two-row combine harvesting our small replicated research plots, and the results we've seen are similar to the data coming out from universities and other seed companies. Yield loss on those rows on either side of deep compaction can easily be 10 to 25% or more. On 200 bushel corn, that could be 50 bushels lost. Two solutions are, number one, to switch back to individual boxes for each row. This would spread out the weight load evenly across the planter. Or number two, is to use tracks on the planter rather than wheels to spread out the load. This spring on our farm, we used the row track carrier system on our early riser planter. We loved the maneuverability of the machine getting into our fields. And the tracks eliminated the pinch rows from dual wheels and provided better flotation as we headed across our variable soils. Of course, using both solutions would be the best of all, but since most people don't want to give up their central fill units, well, you can see the dilemma there. Think about this going into the winter, especially if you're trying to fix compaction from your planter right now with fall tillage. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.